happen. <laughs> As anybody who spent any time watching Much East over the past year knows, we spend an inordinate amount of time perhaps shooting in one particular club. That would be Birdland. Some people say too much, but you know, of all the clubs in the region, it's the one that consistently books the best live original entertainment. And uh, as a result of that, we decided to check in with them on the, on the occasion of their first anniversary and talk to Greg Clark, who runs the joint. I keep my cash in the cup and I'm pulling I'm fully equipped, I kinda dig your honey dip And I told her I got a chip on my shoulder You better lower the yours and put a mic in my hand It's like it shows if he scores The bad thing proceeds sends me into a deep frenzy Better than leave him soon, you'll be needing friends Because I can't stand seeing a wack rap stand There's got written pants and dope rhymes and rocks hit the stamps was it some sort of time when you all got together and said, isn't it about time we stopped working for people and started well, working for ourselves? Well, that was the general consensus after we all left. The Double D's was to find a place where we could, you know, make the years and uh, do it our, the way we wanted rather than doing it other people's way. We pretty much ran the Double Deuce as far as, you know, that we weren't the actual owners. And uh, so, uh, and it was always my intention in going into the Double Deuce is, one way or the other, I wanted to get back into owning a club because I had always been involved in that part of it before. I feel the pain more than I had to What was your basic philosophy opening the club? Because there definitely is one here, as far as I can tell. We pretty much evolved with the, the double deuce. You know, the clubs that I've been involved in before that had uh, been um, more wide-ranging as far as the live music that we did. We were a little bit more of a venue club, so at the Flamingo, we bounced around in different genres of music, blues, traditional Celtic, and alternative. And I think what I learned from that was that uh, you got to have a clientele. You have to have a, you know, sort of pick one area and go for that. And and so with the Deuce, we really concentrated on alternative, original music, live original music. And um, that was basically the philosophy coming in here. There were enough shows that we had at the Deuce that warranted a larger space, uh, just so that we wouldn't shut out any of the, the people in Halifax, or, you know, the people come from PEI and Moncton all over the place to see bands at the Deuce, and now they're coming here, and, and the more students come here as well, you know. We have, we have a good, good crowd here for bands, bigger bands. We played our first gig here December 28th last year, so uh, it's sort of fitting for us, I don't know about for them, but fitting for us to play there one year, because we've been playing here for one year too, so, yeah, it's pretty cool, it's great. You better represent correct the freestyle, same positions against same packet, you won't get left back in, you wanna hear the bones and get that back in, for a dark month, be persist to discuss this, you gonna do this, be proper justice, any amount of soul you hold is stolen. When I think back to some of my favorite performances, I think of uh, Stereo Lab, back for the pop explosion here before last, Six Finger Satellite put on a great show here, I, you know, I give, I've given them a few memorable moments, if you know what I'm saying, you know? Unfortunately, there's still not all that many venues for original music in, uh, in the Atlantic provinces. And, uh, um, I mean, obviously, that's the mandate that your, your show has. And uh, we do the most of, of any place. I'm sure that there is another club in town that was doing you know, roots traditional music, and, uh, which there really isn't on any consistent basis, or a club in Moncton. I think that obviously you, you would be there. But that's what I keep telling them, Greg. Yeah. <laughs>